Hello, um, this is a tutorial going over how the edge locking feature works in Show It. Um, so I have a couple of different elements here. I am going to um, start with how this works on desktop and then we'll go over to mobile. So basically when you have a certain element like an image or a rectangle or um, even text um, for that matter, um, we'll do this um, for an example as well. Um, test text, for example. Um, here we go. You can lock it um, to the left or the right, or you can stretch it to the left or the right, or you can stretch it all the way across. So I'm just going to go through and show it how each of these works um so that you can kind of see the difference um we have our show it canvas here which is set to 1200 pixels um but as we know um screens can be of all shapes and sizes so um locking to the left or the right or stretching um sometimes comes in handy so i'm going to kind of show the difference of how these work if i wanted to set this over to the left but not stretch it and same with this over here we're going to preview that and you can see that these are locked over to the left or right no matter um oops no matter if i stretch it smaller here or bring it larger those are always going to stay to the side but and they're not going to um, stretch so if we wanted to make them stretch we'll switch these two here and i'll show you the difference here so you can see now, instead of just moving to the side, they're stretching with the screen as it gets uh, wider. So that is the difference between left and right and left and right stretching. Now, if you want something to go the whole width of the screen, no matter how big the size is, like if you wanted this bar all the way across uh, you would select this um, stretch all the way across. And as you can see now, this, no matter how far you pull across, is going to be the full width of the screen, which is really nice. Now, the difference when you're using text here, let's use this, for example. See how I have it um, on two lines here? If you put it over to the left, no stretching, it's gonna stay the way that it looks here. Just be over to the left a little bit. Now, if I have it stretch over to the left, you can see here that it stretched that text box out. So it's just kind of your um, preference on how you want your site to look when um, it's resized for different screens. So the next thing that we'll talk about is vertical locking, um, which actually only works on um, canvases that are set to um, either grow with content or window height. So if you just have a normal, con um, a normal canvas type, um, you're not gonna get the option for the vertical stretching. Um, I use vertical stretching mainly on um, mobile since it scrolls up and down. Um, so some examples of this, we'll switch this over, this canvas over to this so that we get the option. Basically, if you want this to stretch, um, if you have, for example, a blog post, let's say, um, I'll just make this kind of an example. If you have a blog post um, and you want, for example, a box behind the text, um, no matter how long the uh, post gets, if you're making a blog uh, template, you would just come over here. And in this case, we would select um, the bottom stretch. So as long as, um, as more content um, of a blog post is added and your canvas grows down, this box is gonna grow with it. So I'll kind of show you. So if we have this, for example, I'm just gonna shrink my screen size to show you. So if we had this, but there was a lot more text, this would grow down with it. So when you're building your blog template, if you want a box and you don't want this to cut off, but keep growing with the content of the blog post, that's how you would use that vertical uh, stretching. 
You can also use it for things like if you want, um, you know, full width, oops, full width bars here, you can use, you know, this for kind of the same as we did the other um, on the desktop the other way. So um, just kind of the same thing, but it's just um, vertical. So you can also use the vertical locking um, on the desktop. Um, you could use this again uh, for the same use as we used before with blog templates or with any kind of um, thing you want to grow with your content. Um, so these are pretty versatile and can be used in a lot of different ways. And I hope that that um, explains it a little more in depth and helps you with your website building.